Today's the day, you guys. Cat's clapped out bumper is no more. We've got our M3 bumper. Got some yellow fog lights in this puppy. And she is gonna put it on. Yes, you are. Yeah, we got it. I think we got everything for it. Uh, I'll show you everything you need to mount this bumper on your car. But first, we gotta put that sucker in the driveway. Okay, so before we go outside in the hot sun, let's go over this real quick. So this is um, an M3 conversion bumper. I don't think you can use the M3 bumper because it uh, has like, I think it has like the bulge in it and it will stick too far out. But this one, they sell online for fairly cheap and you can get one for like 200 bucks. But we got this one for 160 off of OfferUp and it was already the same color as uh, Kat's car. So we just went ahead and bought it and then it didn't have fog lights, but it had the brackets. So I was like, ah, let's buy the fog lights. The fog lights are about 30 bucks on Amazon. You can get them in clear, smoked, or yellow. I got them in yellow. And I think these are glass, I'm not really sure. But uh, I'll just put all this in the description. These, and then you can buy the fog lights with the brackets. It's just one bolt for the bracket, one bolt for the fog light. It's probably not in there like the best, but it's not coming out. As for the brackets, these are the brackets you're gonna need because I'll show you on her car. Hers were thinner, and these are the thicker like M3 style brackets. So I got these off of Amazon for I think like 15 bucks. You can get them off of eBay too. I already tried putting this bumper on before and I noticed her brackets are too small so I just put everything back together. I got the brackets now. So we're going to pull her bumper back off, bolt these brackets on, and then hopefully this bumper should slide back on. The only bad thing about this bumper is there's pretty much no way to actually mount it once you slide it on. What I'm gonna do is hopefully this part lines up with the fender and I'm just gonna drill a hole right here and just put a zip tie just so it can't get ripped off. But these are in here pretty sturdy, so once the bumper is pushed in, it shouldn't want to go anywhere. What's that? This is my bucket hat. All right, baby, ready to get to work? Yeah. All right, cool. We are going to do things really easily. So, since I think this car was previously in a fender bender, there was two holes right here with screws in them. You know, cat hitting curbs and stuff. She ripped them out, so I put zip ties. Made it easier, so it looks like she already took the liberty of cutting those. Um, so yeah, we're pretty, oh, you cut one extra zip tie you weren't supposed to cut. <laughs> Did you cut three zip ties? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. So then we have this side off. This side, this side still has two screws on it. That one's broken, so we just gotta get a screwdriver in here. So get a Phillips. That's a sweet hat, I like it. Hey, what are you doing under there? Okay, you can hang out. You feel it? Yeah. I can't get it. Oh my god, this might be the thumbnail. What? <laughs> that might be the thumbnail right there. Ah! <laughs> I just can't see it. Hold yeah, on. just stick your head in there. You'll be able to see it. I should just pull this back. See it now? Okay, cool, that's out. Okay, now what you do is, remember how you peeled these off? Yeah. You start from the inside, and then right when you get to the outside, it hooks in. Well, I pulled it off. Yeah, so be nice and gentle, there you go. Now pull it, there you go. Okay, the other one. Whoa! She is over this bumper. Yeah, stick that Phillips in there. You got this. Okay, and now the middle one just popped the prize off. This isn't holding Nope. It. Come on, stick the Phillips in there. Yep. Perfect. All right, so in this bumper, if you don't have one like ours, there's a bunch of push clips in here, but I already took them all out and I only left two in so the bumper wouldn't fly off. So we're gonna get something to pull these out because it's really hard. Kind of pull it there you go perfect see how these suckers work you just have to pull this out and then it will allow the clip to be pulled out sometimes they're really hard though because you'll literally rip the button right off of this and then it's impossible to get out you have to destroy it hold on i don't think we're there yet open your hood okay. last time from watching a video on youtube they basically said you had to do a lot more things than 
you really need to, and that's to pull off the crash bar too. We're not trying to pull off the crash bar, we're only trying to pull off the bumper. So hopefully if that is true, because I was pulling these off too, but it doesn't look like you need to. Nope, you don't need to. Where were we? <laughs> <laughs> now nah, pull it off, it should come right off now. These little slidey boys right here, they're on both sides and they have clips. As you can see, this one right here is broken, but this one right here is still intact. Now, as you can see, it looks like it's a little different than the other one. Yeah, it's because it's thinner. So hopefully the ones I got will suffice. Um, now we just have to pull off the whole fog light deal. I don't know. But it looks like there's some more of those push clips on there. So we just have to on the bottom of the crash bar, there's more push clips and we just pull all that out, unplug the fog lights. Someone did some real sketchy shit. Over here, it looks like someone tied it with some freaking like bail wire or something. Where was it? Are you talking about this? It's part of a tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, and if you wanted to take off the crash bar, all you have to do is undo this. It's like a, a, it's, a it's a Torx, it's a big one. But yeah, that's how you take out this crash bar, but we're not gonna take off the crash bar because I believe we can use it with the M3 bumper. So, you see all those push clips on the bottom? Start getting them out. From right here? Yep, there should be a ton of them. Actually, half of them are already broken. Here is the difference between the two bumpers. This one's further forward and it's smaller. This one's further back and it's bigger. We got the new one mounted right here. The old one was broken, so, but that one's mounted. And there's this one right here, as you can see, it goes on like this, so it sits further back. She's gonna take this one off, and then we're gonna mount this one on, and that should be enough to slide our bumper on. While she's doing this, let me add, I believe you only have to get these brackets if you have a facelift. If you have a pre-facelift, I believe it already has these on there, or if you have an M3, it already has these on there, but for the facelift cars, this is what you need. That one is like different than this one. It's funny because this one, only has one hole that and one this had... one has two holes what we have to do is the bolt that she took out we just have to find more of them so that way these things because these have two holes in them the other ones only had one so we'll just take this and we'll find a few more bolts and then we'll slap these in as for the fog lights here's the old fog lights the old clips do not connect to the new bulbs so luckily I think I had some I think I had some high beams or something out of an E46 and it looks like it is the right plug. So basically what you do is you just de-pin the wires from the fog light plug and then you just pin them up to this plug. I'll kind of give you a brief explanation. As you can see there's two clips on either side. You separate those and then you pull the, the metal prong side out of the actual clip housing. After you pull those two pieces away from it and you get this sucker out, there's gonna be this plastic clip that holds the pins in there. You wanna take that plastic clip, either pull it halfway out, I just like to pull it all the way out. And then what you do is you get a paper clip. You see there's a pin right there, but there's two little gaps on each side. You get a paper clip, stick it in there, and basically, here's the pin. What you have to do is, I don't know if you can see those small little things sticking out on each side, you just have to push them in. And once you push them in, you can pull the pin out. So once you do that, you just swap the pins from the original fog lights to the new clips that you got. What happened to I'm gonna do all this? Huh? I wanna do the easy stuff, just so you look good on camera, and then I'll be in the background <laughs> busting ass. Actually busting ass. Like, Babe, you know I could do this. Admit it. Yeah, I know, but for some reason we always like to do things on a time schedule and it just never <laughs> ends up working out. So, so she could do it. She's just a little slower. So, I'll or a just, little bit more reckless, maybe. Uh, I'll just get in there, bang it out. Oh, like that, huh? Bang it out. <laughs> the car is missing pretty much everything to properly mount this bumper. Just put zip ties on the end so you could just at least enough to where if she hits something, the bumper won't fly off. She'll be able to pull over and and throw it in her back seat or something. And in the back of the bumper, where it meets the fender liner, if you still have it, we left hers because it's the daily. There's a hole right here in the bumper, and there's a hole right here in the fender liner 
So we're just gonna do that to keep the two together. That way the fender liner is not hanging down. Not too shabby, guys. We pretty much mounted that with, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four zip ties. And then literally just pushing it on. So let's close the hood because it looks like this is supposed to be sitting a little further in, but the bumper just naturally wants to sit right here. So let's just close the hood and see how it looks. Looks really good. The only thing is, is the bumper's like a new titanium silver and the rest of the car is like an older titanium silver. But honestly, from 10 feet away, you can't even tell. Maybe you can just a little bit on camera. <laughs> How do you like it? It looks good. Okay. Stay away from the parking stops, okay? Yeah. She hooked the old bumper on. Once. on a few. It was one time. It was like three times. It was one time. Well, now Does we're make a now we're gonna have to put some zip ties in her car in case she breaks it and I'm not around. She she's gonna have to re-zip tie it. Imagine when you back out and you hear crunk and then you get out and your bumper's hanging off. Then you then you gotta be JDM European girl and and get in there and fix it. So, but yeah, it's mounted pretty good. It's a little shaky, but it ain't going anywhere. You have to say it. So that's just about it for this video, guys. Um, when we leave to go wherever we have to go, we'll pull the car in the street. And we'll get like a freaking quick, you know, walk around the front end. And then that's pretty much it. How was it for your $200 M3 bumper? Good. All right, cool. You can find this bumper online for, I think it's like between 200 and 250, depending on which brand you go for. The fog lights were 40 and then the, the mounts were 15, in case anybody was wondering. That's it, guys. So in normal, slightly modified fashion, um, it takes us probably, I don't know, a month between when we start filming a video and when we post it. But in this case, it's probably been about, I don't know, six months. So we're gonna go out to the car, we're gonna check out the bumper real quick, just so I could actually get this video finished up and posted. So here we are out at the car. And this bumper's probably been on, I don't know, six months, and it actually looks pretty good. Um, the only thing I really notice is the hood actually touches the bumper. Uh, but other than that, the bumper fits pretty good. I think there's a little gap there because my girlfriend likes to hit curbs and stuff. So when I originally put this bumper on, I put zip ties. Yeah, it's still there. So the zip ties hold the sides on. And once you cut those zip ties, the whole thing, bumper just slides right off. Now, cool thing about this is, is you can use this tow hook hole right here and you can actually mount a license plate. So if you guys are all gung ho about your about your license plates, then uh, then you can do that. I'll show you on my E36. I actually have it done. Like this is a M3 bumper on a E36. So same same style. All you do is you thread that in, and then it allows you to put a little plate here, and you can mount your front plate. So pretty sturdy. I've probably had this on for I don't know four or so months. And it's really nice. So if you're a front plate person, then uh, that that's the part for you. And that's about it, guys. That's how you mount an uh, M3 bumper on your four-door E46. So remember, that's not an actual M3 bumper. An M3 bumper will not fit, okay? You guys got to get those, those replica ones on uh, eBay or whatever. So that's going to be it, guys. I want to thank you for watching this video. If it helped you, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, maybe a subscription, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Maybe put a comment saying, Andrew, you're the man. And, uh, you know, Kat loves the car so far. So she's been driving it every day and not one problem with the car. So props to BMW for that. Other than the cool packs, cool packs act up. But that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. We're out. See you later.